okay, let's see here. The difference between operational science and historical science. Okay, in operational science, the person who is doing the investigation can repeat it. That means it's repeatable. You can do it through experiment. But in historical science, we use the thing called forensic. Forensic means using existing data to construct what has happened. Just like in a crime scene, hey, we see this victim is being gunshot. We see that the gunshot wound, we investigate how this crime has occurred. So using the evidence that is presented there, we try to reconstruct how this thing happened. So just like we have unearthed a fossil underground, and we try to use whatever data existing to estimate when this dinosaur, when this creature uh, existed. So as I mentioned, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So that's why God is all-knowing, is omnipotent, all-powerful. And this is the, in short. Okay, by the way, this Big Bang Theory uh, is the biggest lie in the whole world. Why is it the biggest lie? You can challenge the panel of judges because it cannot happen, because energy cannot be created or destroyed. So according to the Big Bang Theory, the so-called the clever scientists, uh, they say that out of nowhere, there's this big energy that boom, everything fall into place. So even the child uh, with little bit IQ, right? They can understand this is a lie. So do not be tricked by this Big Bang Theory. Uh. It's the biggest lie in the whole world, <laughs> the Big Bang Theory. Okay. And also human do not come from apes. Okay. We do not come from apes. We do this is the evolution theory. Okay. Evolution, evolution theory is also the one of the biggest lie in the whole world. Okay, what we believe is God created human in his image. Okay, this is actually the timeline, creation timeline. And uh, by the way, this word dinosaur is actually a relatively new word. Okay, that was coined in 1842. Okay, before that, okay, in 1841, uh, this word dinosaur. Before that, actually, they used the word dragon. Okay, before the word dinosaur was invented, they used dragon. Okay, these are new words like computer. Locomotive means car, uh, rockets, you know. All these words actually, they were used, they were first made our uh, first coin in 1820, 1828. Dinosaur is even later, uh, 1841. So dinosaur is actually a relatively new word. But those creatures, they existed before. So during those times, before 1841, instead of using the word dinosaur, the word dragon was used. So these are some of the historical evidence. Okay, this part. Let me scroll forward to show you this part. Okay, using uh, forensic science. Uh, this is really forensic science. Okay, you look at this part, right? This is actually the valley uh, that is formed uh, by the global flood. You see the cliffs are very steep, uh, very steep. Very steep actually means that this thing happened very fast because in the historical, in the history of Earth, right, there's this global flood that covered the whole world. You, see, you can see here this part, the earlier one. This part, okay. You, if you check the Bible, the Noah's Ark, right? This one happens. And then actually many dinosaurs were being so-called destroyed. They were submerged, uh, those land dinosaurs. Okay, this one is a fake one. Uh. The meteorite didn't hit the Earth. Uh then all the dinosaurs die. Uh. This is a fake one. Uh. Okay, what happened is during the global flood, many of the creatures died. And actually they are being buried in soft mud. Okay, only soft mud under great pressure would produce fossil. You see this one? Okay, this is truly forensic science. Uh. People have, have unearthed this creature which looks like a dolphin. Uh. Okay, you will examine this part as you can see that this creature is actually giving birth to a young creature here. But during the uh, process of delivery, the two of them uh, is actually being suddenly buried uh, by the massive flood. 
and years later people unearth this yeah so it's frozen in time okay frozen in time okay let's continue okay this is a better picture you can see it's two meters long this creature is being fossilized okay being fossilized okay being frozen in time and similarly for horseshoe crab as well okay okay this one the this animal I do not know how to pronounce it, but this name here, people thought that it was extinct uh, 65 million years ago. Uh. But however, it was actually discovered off the coast of Madagascar uh, in the year, this is a newspaper cutting uh, in 2001. Okay. So these are a lot of scientific evidence that actually... Uh, refute the theory that dinosaurs were extinct millions of years ago. Okay, this is the most important discovery. You can challenge these people who believe that a dinosaur were extinct million years ago. Because using current day biological science, uh, biology, you know, biology, uh, the study of animals and cells, right? Okay, these are soft tissues. Okay, back in the year 2005, uh, in, uh, I believe in the United States, uh, those archaeologists have chanced upon a T-Rex, T-Rex, uh, which is a carnivorous dinosaur, because they want to lift this dinosaur on the tractor to send it to the museum. Uh, but it was too big, so the engineer suggested, let's saw open the, the thigh bone, because the thigh bone is the largest bone. So as being sawed apart, uh, they make this astounding discovery. They found that actually between the joints of the bones, uh, they have this soft tissue. Okay, soft tissue, just like you know, right? Uh, it's not bone, uh, it's like you know the ligaments or this part, right? So if this creature is buried underground for more than a thousand years, uh, no need to say a thousand years, uh, to say maybe six, six hundred years, uh, all the soft tissues will be feel fully decomposed by the bacteria, the all the earthworm, all this, right? How can this remain? Okay, because that place is not like under the eyes. Uh, it's like in a forest, you know, like I believe during summer, the temperature can soar as high as like 35 degrees Celsius. Although winter, it may snow. But this thing still exists uh, after they unearth it. Because if you use biological science, right, this thing could easily decompose uh, after a few hundred years. So if you use this deductive reasoning, right, as you say in forensic science, right, because forensic science means we use whatever present here, we reconstruct what happens in history, just like the, the person was being murdered. So we need to forecast, uh, hey, when was this person being murdered? Is how many days ago or how many weeks ago? So now we are not looking at a, at a person, uh, we're looking at this dinosaur, the T-Rex here. So from this evidence, we can conclude that, uh, you, can, you can see here, Okay, according to biological science, uh, soft tissues or blood vessels and blood cells uh, cannot be preserved more than 1,000 years in nature. Okay, it's not in the refrigerator, uh, not in the fridge, uh, in nature, that's mean under the elements, under the sunlight, under the rain, under the shine. Uh, okay, they cannot be preserved more than 1,000 years. The DNA breaks apart very quickly. So, in real operational science, this will say that the T-Rex don't live a million years ago. So this is the biggest scientific evidence to prove that T-Rex uh, or other dinosaur, they don't live a million years ago because of this discovery. So this has actually shocked the whole world. Because in the past, people thought that dinosaurs were extinct millions of years ago. So this is an important presentation you can tell the the judges who are actually testing you. You can see here under the microscope, right, of this T-Rex uh, that is being discovered in 2005. You can see the red blood cell here, you know. Okay. They enlarge it. Okay. And also I told you in the past, people have witnessed this animal. Okay. They have witnessed this animal. They use the word dragon. Okay. And also the word Lavachan. Lavachan is a humongous creature. And now you use also the word behemoth. Okay, this is a cedar tree. Yeah. Just want to remember the passage, this one. This animal, the behemoth, the tail 
like a cedar. Okay, this is a cedar. <laughs> this is a very big cedar. So, as I mentioned, it cannot be a hippopotamus. It also cannot be an elephant. It must be this. Okay, and also, this one I have shown you in my book, right? This creature here, actually they found an ancient temple in Ankong Wat, Cambodia. So using historical reasoning, right? Come back to here, this one. In the past, people do not have camera, do not have internet, right? So whatever they see, they so-called carve it out in the temple. So from a reasoning, right, we can see that very likely this animal have existed when the people were building the temple. So the authorities, perhaps the emperor, they ask, hey, this animal is a very majestic animal. I want this animal to be carved on the pillar of the temple. So do it. So this has already proven uh, people have lived with dinosaurs before. Otherwise, how do they come up with this? They do not have an internet. They do not have camera. They don't have library books. Where do, get the, where do they get the idea of this animal? So by scientific reasoning, right? People have seen it during that time. So if people have seen it, means people have coexisted with dinosaurs before. Oh, so these are also forensic science and also in the past uh, you know the emperor in china this is the map of china uh, they have dug up uh, treasures uh, that resemble dinosaur can you see how close they look like okay this one the resemblance of this jade uh, these are being unearthed and also this is my own stamp collections of dinosaur okay these are from countries in the african continent and this is the Brontosaurus. And you can see this is a Demo public, Democratic uh, People's Republic of Korea. Okay. So this African continent uh, is actually very big in terms of its surface area. Three, that is 30.2 million square kilometers. It is bigger than Russia, the African continent. They superimpose uh, the outline of Russia into Africa. Okay. And you can also can see many countries there, they superimpose inside. So this is a brief, uh, you can look at the comparison of different uh, countries, their land area, uh, how big they are compared to the size of Africa. Can you look at China here, this one? Okay. So the African continent is actually very big. It's 3.16 times uh, bigger than China. Amazing, isn't it? So this is my dinosaur theory. Okay. This is my dinosaur theory. Underestimating the African size to reduce the possibility of people discovering dinosaur there. Okay, so as a as a science student, right, or as someone who wants to pursue science, right, you can also you must also come up with your own hypothesis. To data analysis, okay. Okay, because I in my own dinosaur research, right? There are actually many sightings of dinosaur in Africa, and Africa is very big. So I came up with this theory here, okay. Because people, if you see the world map, right, the actual size of Africa continent actually they draw it smaller, but actually it's very big. You look at the comparison here, the relative size. So. I came up with some discussion. Okay, you can present to your uh, the people who are I mean like testing you uh, to show your own conviction. Dinosaur were extinct thousand years ago, not million years ago. Okay, and also present your group whether you believe the Earth is a young Earth, which I believe the Earth is actually less than seven thousand years. The Earth, because people thought that the Earth is a million of years ago. So these are things which I did to help students uh, to, develop, to develop critical scientific thinking. So likewise here, I hope that you can also uh, develop this, develop this uh, thinking to help you to understand about uh, presenting your scientific reasoning. So I wish you all the best in your 
interview.